Today we are going to be unboxing the classic edition of Doom 64 from Limited Run Games. Now for those who do not know, Limited Run Games gives digital only games the physical treatment for a limited amount of time. You usually get a month or so to pre-order something when the pre-orders close, and then you wait for a certain amount of months for your order to show up. This I think I ordered back at the end of September, so it's been a bit of a wait for this and I'm very very excited to get this out of the box, so let's do so. Alright, so before we get into slicing off the saran wrap here, just look at this. This is practically a near perfect recreation of the Nintendo 64 box. Like, perfect, I'd say. Just look at that. Fantastic. And for obvious reference, I have an N64 box here, and they are of the same size, they are of the same thickness, and they are just as long as one another. So, limited run went above and beyond in ugh, recreating a Nintendo 64 box for this. So I really, really appreciate that. The attention to detail is just so spot on. All right, so let's get to gently slicing the saran wrap, whatever you want to call it, the plastic wrapping off of this box so we can see what's on the inside. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. You get a card with this. 144, Doom 64, limited run, and we have an image of the Cyber Demon, the original Cyber Demon, before he kind of got written into the tyrant for Doom Eternal. And on the back, it just says limited run in those cool, oh man, very retro neon colors. And this is very, very nice. Something that I've always loved and admired about Doom is just its art direction. And that does not change with Doom 64. It's not for everybody, of course, but I love it. I really do. I believe Midway. Yeah, it was Midway that did this. This was not a Doom game made by id, I, I, I think. I'm pretty sure ugh, Midway are the ones who handle Doom 64 entirely. And it had a bit of a uh, bum run just because people thought that it was just a Nintendo 64 port of the original Doom. When in reality, it's an entirely different game that actually continues the story of the original Doom guy from Dooms 1 and 2. So in a way, this is technically Doom 3. Yes, there is a Doom 3, and it is technically now canon, I think, to, you know, Doom and Doom Eternal and everything, but yeah, anyway. Doom 64 and most of the face over here, it's all of a raised material. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very nice, very glossy, has the holographic run to it. Very, very nice looking, and I am going to try and open this <laughs> in a way that doesn't ruin it. You uh, do not want to see what I did to do that. <laughs> so, let's see what we got here. All right, so I'm looking at the game first. Let's get the game out since we all knew that we'd be getting the game. There we go, Doom 64, same covers. And on the back we have two different, I completely forgot to talk about the back, holy crap. <laughs> So the back of the Nintendo 64 box, the boxes over here, it's all of raised material as well. I think you can kind of tell there, see that it's a little bit raised in 3D and all that. Limited Run, number 81, id Software, Night Dive Studios. They are the people who handled the port of this. Thank you, Night Dive. You guys are magicians with the work that you do. Bethesda, FMOD, all of that stuff. Since Bethesda now owns the rights to Doom, I guess seeing the Midway logo on this really wouldn't make any sense. Very different back of the box, but adorned with some lovely artwork and screenshots. So now let us slice through the plastic. Now, ironically, I have this game digitally on the Switch, and I have it digitally on Xbox, because for those who don't know, if you pre-ordered Doom Eternal, you got this for free. No matter what console Doom Eternal was on, you got this for free. I'm pretty sure... Wait, did you get it for free on Switch? No, you didn't get it for free on Switch. At least I don't think so. I don't know. But, oh, way, yo! <laughs> what do we got here? The Doom 64 instruction booklet. Very, very nice quality we got going on here. It's not overly flimsy or anything like that, so. Doom Guy over there, back when he was just Doom Guy and not Doom Slayer. Story, status bar, I guess this is just going to walk you through everything. Very, very nice. You know, the demons and the Doom Guy are in the same place on every single page, but hey, that's what a manual from the 90s would have looked like. 
Or was this the early 2000s? I don't remember. But yeah, look at all that. Zombie man, shotgun guy, nightmare imp, imp, bull demon, specter, lost souls, kakaka kuku 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 demon, pain elementals. <laughs> the redesign of the kaka koko koko demon is actually a pain elemental, while the new pain elemental is just something that's entirely new on its own instead of you know, having the original design. I don't know why they did that, but I'm not complaining. I think that looks pretty cool. And, uh, Hell Knight, um, uh, Mancubus, Arachnotron, Cyber Demon, Baron of Hell. That's pretty much it for the instruction booklet. Now let's take a look at the card over here. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, those things still taste disgusting. <laughs> I say that as if I do that with every new Switch game I get. I don't. So, we have the game, and we have the card. I feel like I should doomify up the background, don't you think? Let's see here. Ah, much better. Sorry, Resurrection of Evil. I really didn't have room for you. Anyway, back to what's in this box here. Well, let's see what falls out first. We have, okay, I believe this is the double-sided poster, and this is already looking to be a big as poster. Let's see here. Doom six. Oh dear. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be a big one. Oh man. Yep. Big poster. This is a double-sided poster with the Mancubus and the Cyber Demon. Personally, if I was going to hang this up, I would choose the side with the Cyber Demon and all the lost souls. But since this is a limited run thing, I'd rather frame this instead of you know putting any holes in it. So. Now, it is going to sit and lay dormant in the box until I have time to buy frames for it. Be or a frame for it. Oh, frames for multitudes of things that I need frame. But yeah, that was the massive double-sided poster. And God, I love the smell of freshly printed things. And let's see what's in here. Oh, a Doom 64 behind-the-scenes booklet. Shall we take a look? Remaster of Evil, how Night Dive Studios brought Doom 64 to modern systems. Okay, so this is just going to be like a really like in-depth like read up on everything. Definitely something I'm going to read to myself at some point because Night Dive are absolute magicians. I mean, they I'm pretty sure they're the company that allowed and made Doom Eternal run smoothly on a Nintendo Switch. Like, how do you do that? You're, you're magicians, you're magic and all that stuff. You're sorcerers and sorceresses. That's, that's the only... It's the only, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the only explanation, other than being, you know, highly dedicated and extremely talented people. But, uh, let's see. Okay, and then up next, I think this is going to be the last little special here, and that is this. And yes, I am correct. There is nothing left in here. This is a heavy, quote-unquote, metal, non-functioning Nintendo 64 cartridge. As you can see, this is an empty shell. There is nothing in here at all, but look at that. That is just awesome. And this is definitely why this thing is so heavy in the box. <laughs> Turning it around, yep. 2020 Bethesda Softworks, all rights reserved. And you know, I couldn't show this off without having something to compare it to. There we go. Here is my, I think, special edition copy of Majora's Mask, my favorite Zelda game of all time for the Nintendo 64. And as you can see, they're pretty much of the same height. They have all the same markings. Ooh. Okay, they are not of the same height. The normal cartridge is a little bit taller, but they have all the same markings. Everything is there, even the faux screws over here. Just an absolutely loving recreation. And this is like the one thing that I don't want to keep in the box, but I really don't know where I would put it, so I'm going to keep it in the box for the time being, but dude, just, just look at that, man. That's so freaking cool. Oh my God. I mean, look at that. They even got this right too. Limited run. Alrighty, just to go over what we got, we got the Nintendo 64 recreation box, which is very, very nice and much less flimsier than the originals. We got the heavy metal non-functioning cartridge, which is very, very heavy, including the little insert that'll hold it in place. 
We got this nice little holographic collector's card with the Cyber Demon and Lost Souls on it. We've got the behind the scenes booklet that details how Night Dive Studios work their magic on this game. We've got this lovingly detailed instruction booklet. We got a physical copy of the game right here. And we got this very sizable double-sided poster featuring the Mancubus and the Cyber Demon. So overall, I am extremely happy with everything that this little classic edition came with. And plus, for like $40, that's like the most unbeatable price ever. Limited Run is just doing the Lord's work, and I have to agree with their slogan, forever physical. Because if there is a physical edition of a game that I absolutely love, much like Doom 64, I'm going to be buying it over a digital version. Or I'll just buy both, because I'm impatient like that. Anyway, I have been Shinrob Jira. Do so hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all with my next video, which will be who the heck knows when. <laughs> see you, friends and neighbors.